problem two. In 2012, 36% of adults aged 18 to 31, the millennial generation, lived with their parents. A sociologist tests whether this percentage is decreased and finds 32% of 400 adults aged 18 to 31 living with their parents. Use alpha equals 0 0.10 and the traditional method. So first thing we need to do is find H0 and H1. Now normally there's the phrase test the claim that, and the word claim does not show up anywhere in this, set, this paragraph, if you want to call it two sentences a paragraph, but it does say a psychologist, I'm sorry, a sociologist tests. So this is what she's challenging, and she tests whether the percentage, so we're dealing with P, has decreased, so we'll be using less than. And then be careful, because as we go to fill everything in, the next number you see is 32%, but that's not the number I'm going to be listing. P equals 0.36 and P less than 0.36, where less than was the claim, is how I need to write it. The reason is, when it starts off, this is the fact that's being challenged, the 2012 value. The 32 is what she calculates. She's not challenging that number, or he. I don't know the gender of our sociologist. Next, we want to find a test statistic. And for that, we'll use z equals p hat minus p divided by the square root of the quantity p times q divided by n. Remember, if I'm using a proportion hypothesis test, I have this particular test statistic to use. So usually we have to find p hat first, but p hat 0.32 is given in this problem. She finds 32%. We do not have to calculate it ourselves. Do not put 32 over 400 or 0.32. If you have a percentage symbol, then you have p hat. So going to my formula, I'm gonna put the 0.32 minus p Remember for P, you can always look over at H1, which tells us in this case P is 0.36, so minus 0.36, divided by the square root of that exact same P, so 36, times Q, for this problem Q is 0.64, and I found that from 1 minus P, or 1 minus 0.36. It was the complement of the proportion being challenged and divide by n, and that's the number of people that were sampled, so it's 400. I enter all this into my calculator, negative 1.66666 off the edge of the calculator. So if I'm gonna answer with a two decimal value number, I have negative 1.67. Whoops, sorry about that. So next thing we need to do is find the critical value. So we start with alpha, which is given to us to be 0.10, and we have a left tail test. Now, how do I know it's a left tail test? Remember, H0 has less than, so I have a left tail test, and this means that we're going to get a negative critical value. So if we're left of center, and the center of our bell-shaped curve is zero, then we must be on the negative side, so we'll have a negative critical value. And we will not cut alpha in half. We will not do alpha divided by 2 because it's not in two tails. It's only in the left tail. So that means I need to find 0 0.10 in the middle of the table to get my negative z-score, my negative critical value. So in row negative 1.2, I find 0 0.1003, which is too big. 0 0.0985, which is too small. So my number would be in between them. I determine the distance from each of those values. And since 0 0.003 away from 0 0.10 is closer, then I'm going to use the critical value of negative 1.2. So now that I have my critical value, I need to decide whether I'm going to reject or fail to reject H0. So I draw my bell-shaped curve and I fill in my critical value. So negative 1.28 is on the left of 0. My significance level of 0 0.10 is all in the left tail since I have a left tail test. 
and now I know where my critical value or left cutoff value is. So now I need to see where does the test statistic lie in terms of the critical value? Is it in the critical region or is it outside the critical region? Now remember, be a little careful with your negative numbers because I need to place negative 1.67 on my number line and negative 1.67 is actually to the left, so therefore it is in the critical region. He is shady. You do reject him. And so when I say reject H0, don't forget to put the H0. Even though the claim is H1, it's always the established fact of H0 that's rejected or failed to reject. Now I need to write my final statement. So I have a claim of H1 and I reject H0. So according to the verbiage, I'm going to start with the sample data supports the claim that and then I may need to go back and reread the sentence where it says a sociologist tests whether it's like her claim. So the sample data supports the claim that the percent of adult students age 18 to 31 who live with their parents, whoops, just spelled their wrong, there we go, has decreased from 36%. Remember, I don't necessarily have the word percent, although I guess I do. Percent, decreased, and 36 is important to include in your summary and some sort of context, and so specifically, it's certain aged adults living with their parents.